Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover, but right now we're led by a certain Dwight D. Eisenhower and we're finishing up the American Armed Forces, which I guess has no description either, like a lot of the other focuses here, but I wanted to wait until you saw that and we completed this together. But now, let's go ahead and do Operation Struggle? No, Operation Straggle. We like a little bit of a struggle here. Well, not really, not too much. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. I'm going to say a snuggle struggle, but let's save that for some other time. A failed a coup attempt in Iran? Oh, boy. Interesting. Interesting. But we have Operation Straggle followed up with what? Uh, let's, let's finally promote pro-American parties. The Flight of the Shah. Oh. Oh, boy. Where is the Shah? Operation Straggle Overview. Recently, the CIA held talks with the former Syrian minister, uh, Mikhail Beylan. Over the prospect of an anti-communist coup in the country by the military. He said that the military units would seize control of Damascus, Aleppo, Ams, and Ahma, among with all major international border crossings. Once radio stations announced a new government under Colonel Kabani, the leading anti-communist civilian politicians would be called to serve the new government. The pliers would need cash from the CIA to pay off relevant officers and ensure success. CIA supports the plan, calling it Operation Straggle. They believe an anti-communist Syria would shore up anti-Soviet resistance in the region. Diplomatic advisors are not supportive, believing the op operation may inflame tensions and cause instability in Damascus. Which a communist then could exploit. Noted. But when's the last time a CIA operation failed and did really poorly for us? Cool. And yeah, close out of this stuff for now. We don't need this economic stuff, right? Uh, loan stuff. Well, close out of that. But interesting. Riding in Tehran. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyways, we need to increase Eastern European coverage as well, so... Interesting. Ah, uh, Iran. The Imperial State of Iran. We've got some comments to go through as well. Man, you're looking old. Mohammed Mossadegh. Guardian of Iran's resources. He is a nationalist. A staunch nationalist. Oh, we can also influence him too. Do I have got a lot of political power? Uh, we have 90%. They have 38%. If I wanted to influence somebody, would it be Brazil? We would have a lot of influence. Man, he's... F oh, Vargas, you're smoking a stogie, huh? Smoking some fat stuff over there. Preach anti-communist sentiment. You might as well see what we can do about that. And we're getting some counterintelligence, would be very, very nice. Keep going with that stuff, that'd be great. And we have another slot here for Makbul, Abner Rosenkranz, Jane Benning, James Davis, Chester Scurry, Wilton Porter, Mr. Smoocher, Amos Sims. I don't know. I like his glasses, but I kind of like this, his face. Chester, thank you for showing up for the job. Operation Gladio, more recruitment population factor, war sport, ideology, drift defense, enemy... Uh, nationality recruit chance and enemy operative captive chance. Operation Gladio. Might as well. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and gladly do what? Ah, oh, yes. The National Firearms Act. The National Firearms Act would attempt to further the Federal Firearms Act of 38, which outlawed possession of heavy weapons like machine guns and required registration by owners of the Federal Bureau. Auction of King's Possessions. Oh, boy. He was a truly a mad lad. Legislation passed. Nice. National Firearms Act. This was passed under Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed. You gonna make me register my firearms if I was alive in 1953? Oh my gosh. What a bunch of federal overreach. But multiple oh, clemency campaign launched for the Rosenbergs. Do not permit historical fear to override justice? Eh, there's still hope. Multiple Mineral Development Act. The Multiple Mineral Development Act is an amendment to the long-standing General Mining Act of 1872. It allowed for the development and mining of multiple minerals on the same tract of land, as we're continuing to build up more and more factories, which is... Well, we're doing alright. we got plenty of billions of dollars, so... We're currently at $38 billion. Um, what is this? Industrial income. Most of it's coming from services. That's kind of cool. Yeah, civilian manufacturers. Yeah, eight, oh my gosh, our growth rate is minus 18%, which... I'm not sure how else we can increase this. I mean, we're trying to get the biggest industry possible right now, but still. So after that one, we're going to go ahead and do some other stuff before we keep doing some other stuff here. Sabotage the Army McCarthy hearings. Well, how about we do the U.S. Army? The decolonization debate? Let's do what? Military aid of France. Diplomatic assurances. The TU-114 propaganda campaign of the recent World Exhibition in Brussels. The Soviets revealed a new passenger airline, the TU-114. This massive passenger aircraft is capable of transoceanic flights, has sleep berths for passengers, and is the fastest propeller plane in history, capable of matching the speeds of jet airliners. The Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, eager to showcase his brilliant Soviet technologies, decided to fly the plane on his visit to the U.S. Although privately senior of Soviet officials were concerned of trusting an aircraft still under development, Khrushchev insisted on taking it. Upon its arrival, many in the international press were impressed by its size and capabilities, claiming its superior 
to any Western passenger plane currently in the market. The flight of the Tu-114 has ended up being a major success for Khrushchev, and his campaign has showcased Soviet ingenuity to the world, a victory for Soviet innovation and the clemency campaign. Most Americans wholeheartedly support the death sentence verdict given to Julius and Ethel Rosenberg for their involvement in the sharing nuclear secrets to the Soviet Union. However, there's a growing movement calling for clemency for Julius and Ethel for them. The campaign is bringing in not just communist leaning individuals, but also those opposed to the death penalty and humanists. The Pope is also said to be in favor of commuting the sentence and passing his concerns to the president. The campaign has attracted several high-profile international scientists and Nobel Prize winners. The president must decide whether to deny the appeal for clemency or commute the census. To commute the census would improve the international image of the U.S. However, it will lead the public to have a backlash at home. Refuse? Commute the sentence? I don't know what happened, historically. Oh, 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 my finger slipped. But, the decolonization debate. Imperialism is challenged from two sides. On the one hand, there is a rising tide of nationalism within the various empires and telling demands for self-government and independence. On the other hand, there is an increasing radical realization that the whole idea of exclusive empire belongs to an age that is past, and that the backward regions of the world, both in respect of economic development and a cultural advance, should be regarded as a responsibility, resting upon the international community as a whole. Well, decolonization debate? Push for decolonization. Return to Wilsonian diplomacy. Continue the Eurocentric African policy. That sounds like fun. Op pa Operation Passage to Freedom. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, the French are screwing up there now. The U.S. is providing much needed aid to the refugees. Okay, cool, interesting. Things are heating up. Legislation passed. Well, it's good for them. Good for us. Multiple Mineral Act. We get nothing from that. And this one, National Firearms Act. <sighs> Resistance growth speed. That is just... I've got a few choice words to say to Eisenhower there. But, aid to France, send money and guns, diplomatic assurances, continue diplomatic meetings, bring the French to the negotiating table, Geneva Convention, back French interests, back Diem, a proposal to Hanoi, decolonization debate. The situation in Africa is rapidly changing. Across the continent, millions are advocating either for greater self rule or independence from colonial powers. The expansion of education, more radical ideologies, and colonies is fueling anti colonial activism. The State Department believes European powers continue to hold colonies even with force risk radicalizing their colonial subjects and opening the path to communist influence. Some believe that the U.S. must use its leverage over European colonial states to push decolonization or to prevent radicalization and open these territories to American culture and economic influence. However, another group argues such an approach will only facilitate the rise of radical regimes and say they urge the U.S. to op more openly support colonial states. We can encourage them to implement reform so they can eventually transfer power to local pro-Western African elites. Unfortunate. Send money guns. Operation Vulture. Get off my ridge, you Viet Cong dudes. The fr oh, we make the French go to war with them. And we go to war with them, too. The fall of the Viet Minh. Encourage French decolonization. France refuses to decolonize. Contact DM. Uh, offers reunification in exchange for non-alignment. We assure the French to the French that we support their efforts diplomatically, maybe even eventually ending the war peacefully. I don't know, man. We can give them a lot of stuff. Operation Vulture sounds like a real thing. The Geneva Conference. I kind of want to do military aid to France. I don't know which one was historical. Here, you can have some aid. We're going to go aid this time. I really don't know if this is the right thing to do. Tax breaks, you betcha. McCarthyism on the rise. Je Senator Joseph McCarthy, seen by many as part of an uncontrollable loose cannon, continues to rise in popularity. Newspapers publish almost daily reports of his claims and accusations of communist infiltration across the government. Many Congress are following his lead, hoping their own anti communist rhetoric will gain them attention and votes. Across the U.S., many Americans are supporting his investigations and taking it further. They're pressuring for the removal of books, movies, or even officials suspected of sympathizing with communists. McCarthy continues to gain popularity and influence, with many dubbing his campaign against communism as McCarthyism. That could be useful. Uh, Agricultural Act of 54, Sabotage Army McCarthy Hearings. Uh, I'll do that one later. Agricultural Act of 54, even though it's only 53. The Agricultural Act of 1954 will create a commodity credit corporation to give foreign and domestic agricultural relief, as well as set up flexible price controls and support for agrarian products. Might as well. I don't know if this is good or not, but we've got 0.93 trillion in GDP. <sighs> I wish we had more, but whatever. Counterintelligence, we're done with that. Let's get some auditing going. Audit, audit, audit. Actually, how much can we influence Mexico? We should be able to influence them a lot, right? Start military subsidies. Pay for this. Huh. Economic aid. Uh, okay. Sort of great trade agreement. I'm not sure how to really do this stuff. I mean, yeah, obviously you can start influencing the nation. So we're going to lose 50 PP every single day. 54. Hopefully we get more. 56. Hungarian anti-Semitic campaign. Sounds like fun. But after this one, I guess federal mortgage... Federal National Mortgage Association Charter Act. 
The FNMACA will reorganize the FNMA, known as the Fannie Mae colloquially, to better aid the secondary mortgage market and its investors. All right. And then sabotage the Army McCarthy hearings. McCarthy may have gone too far in his attempt to purge the government of commies, but this trial is getting a little out of hand. After all, McCarthy is a Republican and votes our way. We should find any fault with his with his examiners as we can. Sure, why not? That sounds like fun. And there goes our PP. Half tracks? Light mechanized? Um, we got the heavy mechanized, huh? Cool. I'm not really sure. We're just going to get as much as we possibly can. It's only 53. Here, get the Choctaw? No, it's way too at a time. Look at the Sioux, though. That's really nice. Heavy aircraft? 54, 48, 8. B-57s? Why not? Max service spending. Pretty expensive, man. All this stuff is really expensive. So, 40%. When did we go up like, higher? Because who's Allison Heinzelman? Return of the show. Cool. Interesting. Why is it still 60%? Oh, are we out of money? Oh, we're out of political power. Alright, so how far do we get with influence in Mexico? Oh, uh, that's not bad. 88%, but we do not have enough political power, though. Whatever. Alright, after that one. McCarthy uh, investigates Army Laboratory. Senator Joseph McCarthy announced through the media's intentions to investigate an Army Signal Corps laboratory in New Jersey. A controversial senator alleges there's a spy ring of scientists within the lab and the Army has failed to properly deal with the situation. After several weeks, McCarthy conceded that there was no evidence of any communist kind of spy rings in the lab. The Army said to be furious with accusations by McCarthy. Senator McCarthy, however, recently received reports of a major in the Army General, or in the Army Major, who was discovered to be a member of the dangerous leftist party but has not been removed from the service. Some allies of McCarthy are urging him to stop his investigation of the army and shift to the State Department, but the senator appears for focusing on proving the military wrong. Um, I don't know. I want to say uh, sabotage hearings? I don't know which one's more historical. Hmm... I guess we're going to go that one. I don't know. Maybe. The coronation. King Saud. Um, uh, Saud bin Abdulaziz al Saud was coronated earlier today in Saudi Arabia. He has a tremendous responsibility of succeeding his father, the legendary King Ibn Saud, who fought the mo founded the modern Saudi state. Where his father, the United Kingdom of Beirut and chieftains, the new King Saud must contend with regional instability, ideological threats, and international intrigue. Saudi Arabia controls huge oil reserves, and the Saudi king must contend. Uh, contend with much more than just organizing the annual pilgrimage and securing loyalty from his subjects. In addition, relations with the Wahhabi ulema must continue to be preserved and nurtured as losing the support risk major inter internal stability or instability. In his opening speech to his people and the world at large, the new king announced a new council of ministers. In addition, he said his reign will not be focused on military conflict but on ending poverty, expanding education, health care, securing a strong military for defense, and on implementing sharia to all within the kingdom. King Saud had long been appointed crown prince and was well prepared by his father to rule the desert ruler of Arabia. However, some were handling the country's growing oil wealth and dealing with the different ideologies flourishing in the Arab world may be too different. That would be too much for a new king. Time will tell whether the new king can rise to the challenges he faces in a world vastly different from the one he grew up with. Along with the king, and uh, I think I've read this one before, so if you want to read this one, please go right ahead, I guess. Uh, close partnership with the U.S., so may he rest in peace. Yeah, I think I, some of these events I think we just get anyways, but I'm not really sure. I could be wrong about that, though. Alright, so after that one, we're going to go ahead and do something else. Um, we could do nothing here. Landlord class aside, oh boy. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Stand with South Vietnam along with unification efforts? Ah! Uh, I don't know. Stern unrest? I don't know which one's which. I don't know which is historical. I wish it was an option saying that this is a more historical option, but then again, you, the devs would probably be like, oh my gosh, there's so many things we have to flag for this, so. I could be wrong about that, but you never know. Of course, it does know, not me. Um, aeronautic versatility, strategic aircraft. Jam gears of enemies' world machines through network superiority. So that seems more of an American thing to do, but not the one I really like to do, so. Raw strength, I like this one. Close cast. Multi row, I like this one. Tactical integrity. Experimental nuclear engines. Oh, we like them experimental, I guess. Stainless steel? Might as well, right? I might as well do that one. Cool. So, how is Vietnam looking right now? They're probably China. Well, we want to probably block their efforts to unify, maybe? Ho Chi Minh's up here. And with this guy here. Sabotage of Army McCarthy hearings. The McCarthy hearings have been suspended until further notice today. As recent evidence... Uh, 
showing the incompetence of various military officials and said hearings, virtually giving them no right to judgment Joseph McCarthy, one of Washington's most prominent senators, who has come out of controversy for releasing documents pertaining to alleged communist officials from the U.S. government. This development is a major victory for the senator, as he can finally continue his so-called crusade against communism, a phrase coined by his various supporters. Observers said that he should, that should McCarthy continue such a crusade, we'll be looking at not only more anti-communist America, but a more undemocratic America. A dramatic end to an American political saga. Let's block unification efforts, because we can. I this is probably the wrong one to do, but I have no idea. I really don't know. Legislation passed, so that's good. Subsidies. McCarthy deepens army investigation. Senator McCarthy started uh, to ask questions of the army over the case of Major Irving Paris. McCarthy notes that the army dentist has been discovered to be a former member of the American Labor Party. He's also left the section on political affiliations blank in the loyalty form. McCarthy wanted to know why it then took the army 90 days to remove the major from the service. Major Paris was granted an honorable separation by his commanding officer. The army argues it conducted its investigation and process according to its procedure. But McCarthy declared, who, promotes, who promoted Paris? This quote has become a rallying cry for anti-communists and McCarthy supporters across the nation. The army said to be seething. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And started unrest amongst Catholic North Vietnamese. So at least some civilian war support, I guess. America backs South Vietnamese rejection of Geneva Accords. The U.S. will back South Vietnam as rejection of the Geneva Accords. The South Vietnamese believe the agreement gives the communists a base from which to undermine the government. More importantly, proposals for a reunifi reunification election are not tenable as the communists will clearly manipulate the votes in his favor through all means at his disposal. The CIA agrees with this assessment and ensures South Vietnam is not isolated and we are wholeheartedly supporting their stance. The communists will have to make proper compromises and guarantee no subversion for any lasting agreement can be achieved. Concerning. That's all we can say. Literally just concerning. Oh, this is concerning. This is concerning. This is really concerning, but launch Operation Passage of Freedom. Tonkin loses manpower, Saigon gets more manpower. Operation of Freedom. Yeah, I'll see what happens with this one. Not sure if this is what we should really do, but oh well. Anything else over here? Abandon the coup. A worthy risk. Kono Kabanis. I don't know which one is. Another failed coup. We're probably going to fail. Syrian plans. Falsify information. Oh, wait. We can go to war with the Syrian Republic. That sounds kind of fun. That doesn't sound very historical, but. Join the American Coalition. Formal ties of the Rabani Kingdom. Solidify the new regime. America launches Operation Passage Freedom. Now we have this one. Okay. The United States Navy announced an initiation of o Operation Passage of Freedom. American force will help the French Army and French Navy evacuate pro French and anti communist Vietnam Vietnamese citizens trapped in North Vietnam, communist North Vietnam, to the safety of non communist South Vietnam in particular. The campaign is focusing on evacuating Catholics in North Vietnam who face the threat of an atheistic regime and hostile propaganda that they are a French pro French fifth column. The CIA is secretly working with the South Vietnamese government to produce and spread leaflets in North Vietnam, urging Catholics and others to flee the communist regime. The Kervin government in South Vietnam desperately wishes to bring more Catholics to bolster government heavily rely on Catholic officials. North Vietnam is condemned that they call hostile propaganda, though there are reports of river tra traffic, roads, and villages being cut off from major cities to block the flow of refugees. Another CIA ploy? Um, abandon the plot. No price is too high? Generals agree. Generals reject bribes. Generals coup recognize a new regime. Cut democratic ties. Increase arms shipments of Turkey and Iraq. Back down, invade Syria. Sounds very American to do. Establish a pro-Western regime. Contact Iraq. I don't know what you want to do. This seems like more historical because there's just so much here. Endorse Turkish intervention. I just don't know, man. I don't know that much about American history, apparently, then. Ah. Invite Turkey. Screw it. We're going to invite the Turks first. Actually, that would probably be better. Invite West Germany. Uh, support our Middle Eastern allies? Sure. Why not? Because we can. Because we love them. Shock and all. All the way, baby. Shock and all me, baby. Ten more days. Cool. Not bad. Kingdom of Laos, PRC, of course. At least, as someone did say in the comments yesterday, at least, even though we lost China, at least we got Korea. Sing, Singamon Ri. Corrupted ways. That sucks. Tyrant, huh? End of an era. Well, that sucks. Fierce anti communist which we do like. And a capitalist modernizer. Directly joins NATO. Look at that. Interesting. Support the Eastern Allies. That actually would be very helpful for us. How about we put some nukes on in Turkey? And nothing bad will happen to that, right? So in Ankara, they're mostly Sunni Islamic. A few Shia. But some people are irreligious as well. How about over here? Oh, there's a little bit of Greek Orthodox still there, but... Heavy armaments. Happy 54, everybody. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and research uh, the next couple stuff. Oh, look at that. Greece said yes. Greece said speed. Yes, please. Support of Middle Eastern Allies. Uh, funding the Commonwealth. Mutual assistance funding to redirect aid to South Asia. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. Good job. Nash Federal National Mortgage Association Charter Act. Well, can't be too bad to get that one. 
and U.S. Army. The U.S. Army went through with major downsizing following the end of World War II. With conflict starting around the world and the risk of yet another world war, it might be judicious to rebuild the army. We're going to do that one so we can read. Brown versus Board of Education. We don't like that one, do we? Internal Revenue Code in 1954. The Internal Revenue Code of 54 will be the first major overhaul for our tax system since its creation in 1913. There are so many loopholes and weaknesses in the code that we can't let them sit any longer, but some comments. Someone says, in 1960, I should elect Nixon instead of Kennedy. Well, we could. But I did, let's say it earlier, like, I do want to go try to get as historical as possible, at least in terms of presidents. Obviously, some of the smaller stuff about, like, Viet early Vietnamese intervention and Korea and China and stuff, like, I'm, it's not going to be 100% historical because I just don't know what's going to happen. But at least for presidents, I want to go historical. Uh, someone says, investing in crypto is the best way to earn financial freedom. And another comment is, I should have listened to Zog because we lost Albania, which sucks. Uh, someone says, I should go very anti-communist. Someone also says, I should go very radical nationalist. And another person says, meow, meow. So, meow right back to you. So. But the U.S. Army. Meow, meow, meow. Then again, some people like it when I say Bowsers and Wowsers, which I used to say a lot more, but not as much at the time of this recording. Can I raise it? Only world, 6% world tension. Sweden embraces Adams for peace. Interesting. Adams for peace. But do we want peace? Brown v. Board of Education. Uh, McCarthy hearings. Army McCarthy hearings. This Army Senator Re the Army recently accused Senator Joseph McCarthy and his Chief Counsel Roy Cohen of using his position to gain favorable treatment for former aid, who is currently serving as a private. McCarthy condemned the accusations and the incident will be investigated by the Senate Permanent S uh, Subcommittee on Investigations. The hearings will be broadcast on national TV and they're expected to last for over a few months. Or at least for a month. McCarthy is confident the hearings will exonerate him. While the Army plans on using information from a lawyer familiar with McCarthy to plan its own strategy, McCarthy must plan its approach carefully. Push hard, I guess, play it safe. I have no idea. Oh, it's played safe. It's always good to play it safe, right? Sometimes. Maybe not always, but sometimes. Occupied territories. Why are we having airborne divisions doing that? What the heck? Garrison brigades are probably much better to use than that. Legislation passed. Good, good, good. Oh, do we have nothing else here? Oh, we're doing the revenue code. All right. Enforce Brown v. Board now and Career Incentive and Act. Uh, the Career Incentive Act will do exactly what its name is. Incentivize career military service for those who were drafted for the Korean War and are about to finish their terms. Nice. Oh, get more political power. Awesome. Plus 2% is not very much, but hey, I'll take it. We got slightly more food. Not bad, not bad. Seems like we always have a, more than enough senators and house members. Actually, that's not very good for the Senate, but whatever. Um, If we have to enforce Brown v. Board of Education. The Supreme Court has ruled that segregating schools is unconstitutional, yet many governors and school systems are refusing to do so. This is an outrage, and they need to learn once and for all that all men are created equal. Well, the real question is, do they stay equal? Tax break proposals? Cool. Add some water. It's always good to have a lot of water. Yeah, I haven't put anyone else in here yet, but... I, oh, here's it. Inconclusive. Uh, the McCarthy Army uh, McCarthy hearings ended with neither side achieving victory. The Army was able to prove Roy Cohen had interfered in Army affairs, but Senator McCarthy was exonerated. The Army Secretary was found to have interfered in the recent investigation of the Army Signal Corps Laboratory in New Jersey. Many observers were struck by how controlled and at times quiet McCarthy appeared during the proceedings. It appears the councils of the Army were a bit surprised and had hoped to provoke some outburst from the Senator. The media coverage was quite extensive but did not meaningfully change the opinion of the public that the pursuit of communists must continue. Inconclusive, you say. McCarthy questions loyalty of officers. Senator McCarthy recently held hearings calling into the question loyalty of senior officers in the Army. The Senator noted that suspected communists and subversives were able to pass loyalty review support reports. He questioned why certain officers were dragging their feet or grumbling over procedures meant to defend the U.S. from internal threats. His comments have gained traction among the American people, but also among people in the Pentagon. Some senior defense officials were privately worried that as these comments will lead to tension within the military, as officers start to suspect each other. Tensions rise? Oh, as we like it to rise. Uh, Health Research Facilities Act. National Housing Act. Let's do that one next. The National Housing Act of 55 will provide funding for 140,000 housing units to be built in the place of slums that will be cleared away. Nice. Please vote faster. Spain transfers Ifni back to Morocco. Oh, the fall of Spain. Whoa, Equator what the heck is this? Equatorial state? Consul Cornet Gentil. Is this a French thing, huh? Alright, that's... Oh. Well, Hernandez versus Texas, huh? Okay. Equal protection in the 14th Amendment. Alright, cool. That's actually kind of cool that we have the equatorial state here. <coughs> American intel sharing, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Um, I do want more influence in Mexico. So, 88%. I mean, obviously, we're not going to have enough. GDP is 0.15. They have no debt, which is good for them to see. Brown v. Board of Education. Supreme Court reached a landmark decision on the Brown v. Board of Education. This court struck down a separate but equal doctrine and voted unanimously that racial segregation uh, of children in public schools is unconstitutional. The court found that even if there is no difference in quality, the existence of separate facilities is inherently unequal and in violation of the 14th Amendment. The case of Oliver Brown filed a lawsuit against the Topeka School Board for refusing to allow his daughter to attend the high quality and geographically closer white school or a farther away black school. The court ruling now requires all schools to immediately begin integration and remove any legal protections for segregation. The NAACP and the civil rights activists are overjoyed with the rulings, while white pro-segregation Southern politicians are already expressing outrage of the ruling. Will the South let this pass? Hmm. Would be cool to see it will the North allow it to pass. Health Research Facilities Act. The establishment of large health research facilities such as the National Institute of Health, NIH, NIH, NIH near Washington, D.C., will improve our ability to study advanced disease and produce high tech cures for them. Cool? Yeah, it's probably good to get some better stuff for disease. What's it have to be conflict? Is it, just, is it really just Vietnam? Oh, who's, who's over here? Lao People's Democratic Republic. Man, you are. You're kind of looking scary, Quezon Filmville-Hain. Looking a little scary. Well, you got Sisa Vong. V Sisa Vang Vong. Hey, we got some stainless steel, though. Uh, since we're here anyway, so we do some computer stuff and a lot more weapon types. Why not? We love weapon types here in America. Oh, Eisenhower, I'm, the more I learn about you, the more disappointed I become. We all like Ike, but, baby, guns. Why can't I own 400 machine guns, man? Modernized Postal Service? Ooh, I like that. The Space Race? Let's do this one. Modernized Postal Service. The Postal Service is a crucial part of how smoothly our country can run. And yet it's largely outdated, even still relying on horses in some distant locations. We gotta bring it up to a modern, mid-20th century standards. Islamic Brother riding in Egypt? Cool. Uh, Saudi Aramco strike. Around 15,000 workers in the Saudi oil industry joined a strike for better working conditions. The Saudi king has ordered a royal commission of inquiry as this marks a radical transformation in labor relations in the kingdom. Saudi workers were said to be inspired by foreign Arab workers who pointed out their poor conditions in comparison to the vastly superior conditions their American managers and managers enjoy in the kingdom. The bad conditions refused for Aramco to meet workers' demands and driven anti-Americans as the workers believed the American-owned company's actions reflected what the U.S. thought of the workers. Also radicalizing the workers into striking has been recent inflation and anger opulent spending by the royal family. According to the strike, a workers' committee had been established and the unity of Saudi workers beyond tribal bonds is seen as a major threat to the royal so Saudi royal family. The Saudi king will have to decide whether to give in to the workers' demands, offer a few concessions, or reject the workers' demands. Giving in to all the demands may make the workers seem happy, but embolden them to make more demands and empower the influence of foreign workers. In addition, the U.S. will not be happy if Aramco loses the strike. Supporting Aramco and rejecting the workers will help our standing with the U.S. but infuriate the workers, so perhaps a compromise will be the best route. In the long term, the government must consider how to control the influence of foreign labor on the citizens of Saudi Arabia. Will this increase oil prices? That's the most important question to ask. Well, modernizing the postal service is going to be super important. Yeah. Yeah, the postal service is still slightly important here. What is Yugoslavia up to? Hanging out. Josef Broz Tito, market socialism enthusiast. Uz Marsala Tita, unifying president, liberator of Yugoslavia, non aligned Fuhr? Fuhr? Figurehead. No, he's not a Fuhr. Not this time. He's got a, definitely had a mustache. Ab Allah. Cool. Modernize that stuff. I love programming languages. Don't ask me about programming, man. I cannot do that. But after that one, we'll probably go ahead and do a few more other things that we can. Legislation passed. Very good. Oh, wait. What, what happened here? Wait. Geneva Conference. Ooh, support DM. Proposal to Hanoi. Back French and... I don't know. I heard some uh, consumer goods, so we'll do that one. Housing one first. Um, we'll probably just send money and guns. Might as well. Yeah, aid France underscore TT. Might as well. We love sending money and guns. Just is what the CIA does all the time. Expand foreign aid recipients. Send educational assistance. Provide economic loans. Infrastructure grants. That ain't too bad, man. Eurocentric African policy. We're in a danger of premature independence. I have no idea. Together, foster happy colonial relationships. Promote progressive colonial reform. Invest in new African experts. Or we could just do it for the almighty dollar. Buy new nations to join the technical assistance program. Condemn European influence. Nation building in Africa. Seems like something we would do there. For the almighty dollar sounds more American though. Huh, <laughs> F yeah. The Soviet flying submarine program. 
During the late 30s, the Soviet Navy explored the idea of designing and testing a plane which could then submerge. This was called the Flying Submarine Program. It was headed by engineer Boris Ushakov. And although the program had early, had early support, it was shelled before 1940 as the Navy concluded the proposed aircraft was infeasible. However, the Soviets, under the direction of La Ventre Beria, restarted the program after the war ended. The Soviets recently built a test aircraft, and the results are being assessed. Ideally, this flying submarine could potentially play a role in targeting vital enemy shipping. However, it appears the issue with the aircraft is its weight. More significantly, as enemies of Beria come to increasing prominence within the Soviet leadership, it appears unlikely that they'll continue, uh, they will continue the program that he started. Now, what do you guys think we should do? Should we do push for decolonization? I don't know which one's right, though. Continue the Eurocentric African policy? I feel like the Eurocentric African policy is uh, one we need to do, but mass resignations in the military. In recent weeks, the military has been has seen a spat of resignations following hearings into the loyalty of the officers. It appears many in the military, fearing a deeper investigation would affect morale and organization, chose to resign instead of dragging the process out. Several standard senior generals and admirals have resigned or taken early retirement. The Pentagon also announced new directives. Hold the crap. To more streamlined investigations in the process of removing subversives from the ranks. The loyalty review reports are also being updated to be more efficient. Many retired officers have condemned the political interference in the military, and fear it would take time for the military to restore its efficiency as a fighting force. Unfortunate? Oh well. Her elevation of the brutality of the Mongolian Great Purge. Interesting. An hour from, from Sweden, though. The Swedish government sent a request to enhance cooperation in the field of nuclear energy. The Swedish state began pursuing nuclear research as early as 46. With our help, they helped to utilize nuclear energy to fuel economic development and energy independence. On paper, such an agreement would likely provide a boost in our own research as Sweden has top-notch researchers. However, intelligence reports indicate many Swedish officials believe in a nuclear deterrence. And the knowledge they gained from us could help accelerate a clandestine weapons program. We can either accept the deal or trust the Swedish state committed to energy development or reject it because the risks are too high. Decline. Yeah, I don't know which one's more circle. I think this one is probably the more way to, more the way to go, but I'm not really sure. Operation Vulture. Get off my ridge, you Viet Cong dudes. Oh wait, do we want to go to war them immediately? Uh, we might want to wait for that one. The fall. Maybe this one's more historical. Crap, this probably was more historical. God dang it, I don't. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I just uh, an arms race. Why not? We'll go with an arms race. Hey, we, now we won trillion GDP again. Not bad. Hmm. We're just being constructed. Be, ooh. But that's literally going to double the budget. So 400, 440 billion? Can we have 420 more billion? We might be able to, actually. More construction speed is pretty good. Ah, I'll do it anyways. 41 billion, that's what I thought. Oh, look at that. It's got a little icon there. We expanded the country. During this time, you have reduced benefits equal to one half the difference between the policy you upgraded to and your own previous. You can cancel expansion and revert to a lower funding level before the two year upgrade process has been completed at no extra charge. Well, now we only make $29 billion, but that's okay. More education for the people, man. More education. Vast expand the military industrial complex. I don't want to do this one. We're going to do it anyways. Sounds like the thing that uh, Eisenhower would probably not go for, but maybe that's just me. The 19th decade for the Navy? Nice. Uh, Ant Air Pollution Control Act? I guess we'll do the space race. Space, the final frontier. It's always been capturing our imagination, and with new developments, it'll soon be in our reach. We must keep pace with the Soviets, however, as they seem to be having and take or taking the edge here. Yeah, I'm not feeling this is very historical. Um, a worthy risk? Abandon the coup. Here's another, uh, you know, let's, let's abandon the coup. Another failed coup. Falsifying intervention. I just don't know, man. No price too high? Generals agree. You know what? Let's abandon the coup. I want to see if we can go down here, maybe. Invade Syria. I like a pro-Syrian regime, maybe? Contact Turkey? Yeah, let's go this one. Abandon the coup first. On recommendations by made by John Fuster Dulles. Ellen Dulles. Holy crap. And Mikhail Bey Ilan. Operation Strike will be abandoned as unfeasible. Cool. Hungarian Jews. Interesting. Jews, Jews, Jews. We love the Jews. Well, some people do. Some people don't. But whatever. Um, 55. We gotta wait for the other stuff as well. Oh, that stuff's way too ahead of time. Actually, is there something on this side too? No, there's not. Okay. So on the industry side here. Oh, we don't have 1950s. Oh my gosh, I've missed so much stuff here. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Look at our old space race. About one more week for that. That's not too bad. But yeah, getting more. Just construction, please. Build, build, build. I want more GDP. I want more monies. Of course, we all want more monies, but still. Look at all the cities we're trying to make and all these office parks as well. The Toussaint Rouge. Oh, cool. Another long and brutal war. We love long and brutal wars. Abandon the coup. Jet tactical bomber dose? Yes, please. Followed up with abandon the coup and operation of weapon. Why not? We might as well, right? 
An early hard disk. We like them hard. But we like them hard. Hmm. Launch war income. Centralized fire control. Forward observers are very nice as well. Abandon Le Coup. And then we'll choose... <coughs> excuse me. Wappen. Legislation pass. Great news. And we'll probably end with what? Let's end with something such as... The Post-War Air Force. The USAF establishes a separate branch of the U.S. Armed Forces on 18th of September, 1947. The USAF is now in charge of delivering most of the nation's nuclear arsenal. It will thus be critical for us to keep a constant edge of the Soviets. But I apologize for this short episode, if, but if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we have a nominal education system for America, and we're going to have the next elections. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.